Hi, this is Amy from the Altice store. I am here at Altice's eighth annual conference, and I'm here with Eric from Schneider, and we are going to talk about their new Gateway and their XW Pro. Hello. Hi, Amy. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. So, uh, you've got some new products that you're talking about here at the show. So, why yes. don't you give me a, a quick overview of what you've got coming out? Well, the first is XW Pro. So this is the next generation XW Plus, which is going to be Rule 21 compliant for marketing in California that has all the smart grid functionalities that are going to be a requirement eventually all yeah. across the country. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, in order to uh, get the credits and the interconnection agreement, you have to cooperate with the local utility. Right. So um, the XW Pro has all the functionality and versatility and reliability of the Plus platform, but it will also have the new smart grid features. So uh, that's the first offering that yes. we're excited to announce. And then the next is Connects Gateway. Okay. So Connects Gateway is the next generation Combox. So it's uh -huh. a web-based interface where you can see everything that's going on in your system, whether it be the inverter, charge controller, auto gen start, everything from a web page that is based in your local area network and it also will have connects insight too which is our cloud server and you will be able to access your settings over the cloud that was what's that's what customers have been crying for for years now with regard to the com box so we finally implemented a platform that will do just that uh, not only that we'll have wireless capability with the gateway nice and we'll be able to support two XAN bus networks so oh. customers with very large systems will be able to fit multiple inverters, multiple charge controllers in a single monitoring device. So that's really exciting. That's huge, yeah, because we used to be limited to maybe 10 or 12 devices. That's right. And so now we're doubling that. Exactly. That, so that's nice. I, I actually just designed a system Friday that I had to have two <laughs> different, so perfect. Yes, sweet. That's fantastic. So, um, so this will, will replace the com box, but it's not going to replace the the system control panel. Those are still separate products that, that still work well together. Yeah, so the system control panel is a local monitoring yeah. device. I always recommend having both because maybe it's not convenient for the customer to log into their computer to see what's going on with their system. Maybe they're just walking by the system and they wanted to push a couple of buttons on yeah. the control panel to see what's going on. So it's nice to have both. Right, right. So, okay, so you've got um, Wi-Fi access and uh, you can access it from your, your laptop, your computer. Mm -hmm. What about from your smartphone? That's on the roadmap. Excellent. Future okay, good, good. Update. Um, something else worth mentioning as well is that uh, uh, the Gateway will be backward compatible with the XW Plus models. Oh, good. However, XW Pro will not be backward mm -hmm. compatible with Combox, so okay. that's important to keep in mind. Okay, that makes sense. So if you've got an existing XW Plus system and you are looking to update your, your Combox, you can go with the Gateway. Yes. But um, but as soon as you've got an XW Pro in there, you can't use the old com box. Exactly. Got it. Got it. So is the XW Pro and XW Plus compatible in the same system with the new gateway? Can you can you stack the two? No. Okay. No, you need to go Plus with Plus and yep. Pro with Pro. Okay, but that makes sense. The same scalability factor will exist. So, um, so this is great for California. I know Massachusetts is start start yeah, to talk about requiring mm -hmm. that, and and yeah, it's it's definitely sweeping yes. across the country where, where the the grid doesn't want to just have uncontrolled power being sold onto it they want to be able to to have you store the power and use more of your power and the XW Pro is a 
perfect way to go about it. Right, that. so the utility companies want stability. Yeah. They don't like sudden changes yeah. to their grid. Yeah. If you have a high amount of PV penetration in a particular region, and then a cloud bank rolls in, yeah. it's no different for, uh, for that from everybody just turning on all their loads at once. Right. The, the demand changes and they have to make up for it with either uh, black star generators or, or natural gas generators yeah. or even coal burning generators right. in some cases. So yeah, they want stability, they don't like changes, and you've heard of the golden rule. The people with the gold make the rules, and that's the <laughs> utility companies. No, but it does make sense. I mean, we've got a distributed network, so let's distribute the the uh, the storage yes. as well as as the the generation, right? And and make a more stable grid. I I think it's a fantastic idea. Absolutely, and and part of the problem uh, with uh, you know regions that had high PV penetration, such as Germany and Hawaii, yeah. and now California. Um, they rather than have the old UL 1741 rule where there was a tight window for voltage and frequency and if you if you uh, uh, went outside of that window then the PV inverter just shut down well that caused um, instability in that um, you know there was a certain amount of power being produced and then it just dropped off so now they're having voltage and frequency ride through they're actually opening up that window uh -huh. to allow it to be more tolerant uh -huh. to those fluctuations it's also using a ramp rate, which means PV will start up at a slower rate instead okay. of just hitting all at once. Right, right. And it also has a volt var, which means it uses power factor to regulate the voltage. So UL 1741SA is the testing standard that will apply to all the states that might have varying requirements right. for these ride-through settings, Excellent. such as Rule 21, yeah. HECO for Hiko, Hawaii. Yeah. And PREPA for Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah every state's going to have their own rules that of we course. have to follow. Yeah, of course. And so this is completely new hardware. This is not just a firmware upgrade to an XW+. Plus. No, this is it's a got new a product. completely new control board with much more memory. That actually was the limitation with the Plus model. Ah. We didn't have the memory space to implement the smart grid features. Gotcha. All right. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so XW Pro gives you more um, states that will be more more install friendly. Exactly. And uh, the the new gateway will give you both uh, the bi-directional exactly. control remotely. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Amy. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like that, give us a like and a share, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com, where we've been making renewable doable for 20 years, since 1999. <laughs>